Hi everyone, welcome to a new video. Thanks for joining me today. Today I've got another real-time video for you, another one with pastels, and this is a segment of a Patreon video that I've done in April for the $10 here. We're drawing this daisy. And in this uh, tutorial, I will show you the process of doing the background. This is an easier kind of background to do, just uh, lots of color and nicely blurred out, but no detail. So this is a very good beginner tutorial to do. And you'll see the whole process of it. I'm working with pastel pencils on pastel mats, and I hope you'll enjoy. Let's get started. So I'm going to start with 105 for that. I'm going to start off with a solid layer, quite a solid layer. Not too much pressure though, because I still want to be adding, I want to add more tones on top of that. I need to be careful around the petals, so I'll do this one at the top first. Then when I have sharpened my point, I'm going to go around the petals. So right now the point is very dull, but I don't want to sharpen it yet. I want to make sure it's totally gone first. Now I'm going to sharpen it. I'm using the Faber-Castell Color Grip Sharpener, as always. Now I'm going to go carefully around the petals. Make sure that the edges are nice and sharp first. To get that out of focus effect, we can always do a little bit of blending, but first I want to make sure that the shapes are clear. About here we can make the transition to the green. Also, I want to make sure that the background is dark enough so the white from the petals stands out really nicely so I might have to go over this with a darker tone to darken this up but for now it's a good tone for the base tone Right, we here we also have a bit more green. Let's continue the yellow up to about here and then we're slowly going to make the transition into the green. Alright, so the paper is not completely filled up yet. You can see some of the texture still, but that's no problem because I'm going to add some other colors. So I want to add a tiny bit of the 570. It's a very bright color though, so I don't want to use too much of it right away. Just a little bit of that to create the transition a little bit into the green there. And I 
it's a little bit of the 590. Let's glaze that. It's just a little bit of glazing. Light pressure, go over the layers. And let's take this 590 down. Doesn't need to be nice yet. Do need to be careful around the pedals. So this looks very green now. To make it more like a bluish green. You can also add blue on top. Let's add some of that 590 green here as well. add some blue. I'm going to add blue, uh, the 435 on top of the 590 to create more of a bluish green. And it can also soften up the transition between the green and the yellow. A little bit careful around the petals. And let's add it on top of here as well. Take that blue down a little bit. Maybe I want even more of a brighter yellow in the top area. Let's do 690, which is not an extreme yellow. It does give the area a bit more of a sunlit effect. So I'm just going to add that on top. I'm being very messy still. I want to make sure to have enough layers down before I do any blending. Tiny bit more green, so we're just going to mix, keep mixing. Here's 
here we see a bit more green again. So this green is, is of course very green. So we can decide to leave it that green to tone it down. I can go on top with the 690 yellow and I could even go on top with gray, but I don't want to tone it down too much. Maybe a little bit of the 105. Thicken this layer of a blue. And then we can try to do some blending. Okay, so let's blend this, see what we end up with. And then we can always make adjustments. So I'm going to blend in circular motions to get the smoothest effect. Rather have the background a little bit too dark than too light. Because I do want the daisy to stand out really nicely and the daisy is white, so let's Make sure that the background is dark enough. And if you want it lighter, we can always add some lighter colors on top. Okay, so this area around the petals, I have to blend a little bit more nicely. I'm going to work on that in a sec. to add a little bit more yellow back so I'm going to add the 105 do want to lighten up the background slightly so I can just go on top with a layer of 105 to slightly lighten up and tone down this area because this is a very neutral whoops um, a neutral toned color I can also use it to tone down a certain color, which is too bright. Right, let's see what this does. Right, so this smooths the color together even more lightens it up really like that color
And let's keep blending, picking another finger now because I don't want to smudge any green into this area. Okay, so don't worry if you went a little bit on top of the petals with the blending. We can always go on top with the white again to sharpen the lines. Let's see if I want to change anything to this area. Maybe lighten up the top area a little bit more and then move on to the bottom part. I want to add a bit more of the 105 here at the top. So let's blend that in. And then I feel I've created enough of a smooth area right here. And I can move on to the bottom half. more blue. All right. Let's move on to the bottom half. So here we have a little bit of green again and then lots of blue at the bottom. I do want to take that green down a tiny bit more. So let's do the 570 light layer of that. Going carefully in between the petals again. Now I want to ignore my wrong lines. Or go over my wrong lines and just leave the right ones there.
right tiny bit of that 690 darken up that green Alright, so that's quite bright. So let's go on top of that with some of the 105. Do a bit of mixing. All right, let's blend that. See if it's already smooth enough. Not really. Because, okay, so when the layers are not filled up enough yet, um, you can't blend that well. So I need more of the 105. On top of here, and then maybe even more green again.
right, I want a little bit more dark green in between the leaves to create some more depth. So I'm going to add a tiny bit of the 590 color. Okay, so let's move on to that blue for 35. Do a solid base layer of that on the whole bottom area of the paper. Tiny bit of 105 on the transition from the green into the blue to soften this up then it makes it a little easier to do the blending. And then I'm going to do a tiny bit of darker blue, 405 at the bottom. Maybe we don't even need the gray to do the toning down. Maybe this is already enough. Um, so let's blend this. Do this area first. Now we have that transition quite smooth already. And then let's blend the blue with a new finger again.
Let's take the blue up a little bit more. Okay, nice and blue bottom. I like that. So let's do the other half in the same way. Put down a solid layer of the blue. Make sure that it's sharpened. Let's do that 105 on the transition from the blue into the green again. All right, and let's blend this. Let's do that transition.
made a little bit more of the dark blue for 05 at the bottom. So I think we're getting there. Right, so I just want to do some touch-ups, make sure there's a nice balance in the background with the colors. I think I'm going to leave the background like this. Alright, so that's it for today. I hope you liked this video. You can find the full tutorial over on Patreon for the $10 tier. And of course, many more different tutorials about different subjects and also in color pencil. So definitely have a look if you're interested. And then I want to thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.